Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Mario 64 DS. Today, my friends, we're going to be obtaining the last few power stars here in this game. As you can see, I have 140 power stars, meaning there are 10 more power stars left for us to obtain. The 10th one being, I believe, it's like the stupid rabbit challenge where you have to go about obtaining all of the rabbits around the castle. So many of them to the point where I don't even know where to begin to find them. So what I've decided to do, like, hey, there's one, a green one. Can I? Okay, cool. He's not going to let me grab him today. But as I was saying, uh, I don't really know where to begin finding them. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to obtain all the stars except for that last one. And then I'm going to do that later tonight with Bowser in its own separate video just to not make this video very long and tedious for you guys. But as you can see, we're kicking off this today's episode with Luigi, one of my all-time favorite characters. And we're back here in uh, the Chili Chief something something level where we could actually obtain two stars, the red coin star and then the switch star. And every single one of these levels, there was always, like, at least levels where you save a character. And there's always a switch star and a red coin star that you can obtain. Also, before I forget, uh, if, you're, if you haven't been on my channel, at least in the last couple of days, seriously, go on it right now and check out my new banner and let me know what you think of it. My good buddy, Pertamonium. Uh, actually drew it for me. He custom made it for me and it's something that I wanted for a while now something that I've been waiting for for quite some time So it's pretty awesome that he was able to draw it for me and make it so nice and personal and custom I think it's gorgeous, but I'll let you guys determine it as well I'll put a link to his uh, deviant art as well as his Twitter down in the description of this video So if you guys want to you can go look at more of his work He does a ton of stuff for a bunch of different youtubers So I mean he's out there and he does uh, his work is just amazing like it actually looks straight up like Nintendo's Work. I don't know why Nintendo don't hire him as an artist. Maybe they have plenty, but dude, this guy's amazing. But anyways, I don't know why I did this. I, I like, you know, I thought, oh, for some reason, Wario needed to lose his cap to do this part, but not really. We can get the coin just like that. And what's strange too is every single one of these missions require you to actually use all three of the plumbers, and I didn't realize that until I thought about it just now. Every single one of these missions require you to use all three of the plumbers, and I will do the next one as well. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's the uh, the the King Boo one. It's not really King Boo, but it's the one in Big Boo's Haunt. We do it with Luigi, Mario, and then Wario. One star, I guess a coin that we have to get is with this dude, and then we have to also get a couple coins with Mario, and then we also have to get uh, a star specifically using Luigi. So we're going to be all over the place. So I think we did what we needed for Wario. We got the star, so now I can let the snowman hit me. Go ahead, sock me in the face. Sorry, man. All right, he, he hit me. This is all good. Oh, man, I just burped. Sorry about that. Okay. So right now, I'm actually, I have six coins. I need two more. So there's one inside that thing. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and get it first because... When I become Mario, I don't want to actually have to try to find the cap again or lose my cap in order to get this uh, red coin. You know, might as well get it since I'm Luigi right now. Ooh, that was close. You see, I almost fell there. That would have sucked. But yeah, uh, I think the Mario cap. Oh, there it is. So the last coin. Oh, where that might, where, where it might be, you might ask. Not in that way, but where is it? If you're wondering, if you look at the map, you'll actually see there's like a little lone island just chilling there. No pun intended, but it's just chilling there doing nothing. And that's exactly where we need to go because that is where the last and final red coin is. It's a pretty big island just to have a red coin placed on it. Maybe it was meant to be an ice skating rink, but then the guy never actually finished building it or something. I don't know. Maybe it's an ice skating rink made specifically for Mario, even though he can't ice skate. But I don't know. We got the star, and now we have to make our way all the way back. So overall, it was a pretty easy level. I mean, I really don't know why I just didn't do these back when I had the opportunity to do them. It would have made much more sense, you know. would have knocked out a couple more stars and a few more episodes, but... Oh well, it's all good. I'm not gonna dwell or complain about it because this is nice, you know, just having a nice episode where we could just explore all of the castle again and just obtain as many of these power stars as possible. And that, my friends, makes two. Two power stars in one level. And we're not gonna save just because last time I saved and I didn't have a copy of my game. I think I didn't. I Actually, I did, but I didn't realize that until after I recorded. And I wasn't about to re-record the video again because... I don't want to do that. But yeah, yeah, anyways, we're going to go ahead and switch out to Mario. And uh, we're going to be making our way to the upper stairs level. The room before the final room where Bowser's in. You know what I mean? It's like the, the, the third floor. Because this would be the second floor, right? Actually, wait. This is the first floor. And the second floor. And then you have the basement. And then this would be the third floor. 
because the second floor is the one that technically has the, the slide level in the first Bowser b boss battle. And then this is the fourth level. That's how I look at the castle. And I just thought of it just now. But yeah, this is a new area as well that we've never explored. We can also get two stars here. Again, you need uh, Mario and Wario in order to get both of these stars. Uh, the first star is actually the uh, the red coin star. And I went ahead and activated the cannon earlier, by the way. So you guys don't have to worry about me talking to the stupid bob -omb to activate it. Because I already did said thing on my own time. But yeah, anyways, we're going to go ahead and use the cannon. And we're going to go and find all of the red coins. And then at the end of it, we're going to go and uh, do this again, except with Wario. But the good thing is we're not looking for red coins this time around. We're just going to hit a box with Wario. And bam, shazam, we get ourselves another power star. I remember just this in Super Mario 64 was so hard. And again, it could be because the last Super Mario 64 game I played was the multiplayer version and the, the cannon was completely broken in that game. Like it made absolutely no sense. You'd get in the cannon, but it wouldn't give you like a good view or aim, um, you know, of what you're trying to aim at. It just, just, it was just, it was just a huge wreck. It was just a train wreck, man. And I really hope when I do LP Super Mario Star Road for you guys, I don't have to endure that because that would really suck. And also the thing that would suck too is if I do accidentally pick up this Wario cap, I can't lose it. I have to just, you know, keep it because there's no enemy here to get rid of it for me. And that's why I wish, I really wished that in this game they had a way where you could just, just naturally get rid of the cap without getting hurt yourself, you know? Because... Who wants to get hurt physically when they lose a cap, you know? I just, like, it makes more sense that you can take it off at your own command and will. But there's the sixth one, and it's good that I'm doing it like this. I started from the bottom, and I'm working my way up to the top. Um, and I think I need to use this cannon. Well, actually, I do need to use this cannon for sure. Okay, get in there. Because the final one, or the final two are going to be, like, really high on a cloud, super high up. And then the star is going to be, like, somewhere... Okay, is this it? Nope, this is not it. But it's all good because I also need to use this cannon as well. And you use two cannons in a row. Is there like a, another cap? There isn't. Okay, that's not good. I get very nervous sometimes. I'm, I just I feel like my caps will run out. But I'm going to have some faith and not think like that. Okay, and ooh, fly my way all the way up to the top. Ah, we made it. Wow, that was close. That was barely close. Imagine if I just hit the side of it and then Mario went and f fell. That would have sucked. Because then I would have had to redo all this. Which isn't that bad. It's very easy. But like I said, it's just very time consuming. In comparison to like the other stars that we're about to obtain. But yeah, there it is. The star. The final star in this area. Oh, actually, I forgot. There's also a stupid toad star as well. That I haven't gotten. That, that would make the 74th star. Now that I think about it. Because I was thinking about it, there's two, 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 so that's six, and then another two, that's eight, but then there's still missing two more. And one of them is the rabbit star, and then I'm like, what is the next star? I'm like, oh, you know what? It's that toad guy. I don't know where I was going with this. I, I was going to go get the star, but then I'm like, you know, it, it just makes sense to do this first. I don't, I don't know why I got off this thing. Get, get back on this thing, Mario. Get up there, boy. Get up there, big boy. Oh, you know, I should have done the Luigi thing first, because I was already playing as Luigi. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. I think we needed to use Wario for it anyways. But yeah, this is very easy. Just fly your way all the way down. Oh, nope, not this way. Wait, actually, wait. Yeah, this is it. I looked at the cannon like this. I don't remember there being a cannon there. But no, there's totally a cannon where I need to be going. Okay, and get in this thing. And it's actually pretty easy, like, aiming in this game. Like, you just got to aim, like, a little bit higher than where you're trying to get or trying to land on. And voila, we made it. Break the box, and there's a star, which we cannot see, thanks to Lakitu's very poorly done camera angles. And that, my friends, makes 44, or I guess 144 stars. So yeah, that's that was not that bad. I mean, I probably could have done these all in the last episode, I know, but it's, it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, I forgot the toad guy. Okay, I'll, I'll come back to him when I come back up here. For now, we're just going to make our way all the way down back to the uh, King Boo's haunt. But like I said, I need to switch out. I don't know if I necessarily need to be Wario. I'm going to just be Luigi, and then hopefully I'll find a cap somewhere uh, in the level. And then I'll most likely just end up using that cap in order to get the final red coin. Because we do need Wario, like I said, or all four plumbers, rather, to get all of the red coins in the game. Uh, but then again, I actually don't remember if Luigi or if Wario did have a cap. Huh. I don't know. Should I risk it, or should I just go back and play as Wario? Because, I mean, I don't really like playing as Wario, really. Wario's not really a guy that I enjoy playing with, so 
Uh, I, I, I just, I really think that I should play as Wario. Just in case, because I know for a fact that there's going to be a couple Luigi caps. Just in the level, and then outside of the level as well. So, yeah, we're gonna use your boy Waryuta. We haven't even played with him yet. Plus, it will give him all a fair chance to, you know, be used outside the castle. Except for Yoshi, unfortunately. Yoshi's the only one that doesn't get to be played with today, because he's just useless like that. You know, first it was Luigi, but then they decided to pick on Yoshi. I don't know why. I mean, Yoshi's just like a little animal. He's like a nice little pet. You don't want to make your little pet upset. I guess, I mean, unless he doesn't have feelings, then in which case, by all means, pick on pick on that little pet. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and do Secret no, secret of the Haunted Books. Yeah, this is the best one. Yeah, 100 coins exactly, dude. I didn't even attempt to collect another coin after I got the 100th. I was just in and out real quick, man. In and out as quickly as I possibly could. That's actually what I did for most of the levels. Some levels, you know, I get like 101 or 103, and I'm like, oh, I can't deal with an odd number just because I have OCD and whatnot. Or unless it's like a flat number, like 105, 110, 115. And in which case, I don't really mind it. It's actually better off like that. But if it's like 101, 103, that's when I'm like, eh. But yeah, look at that. These guys just killed themselves. Just walking or flying straight into me. But we're going to be, like I said, doing it with Luigi. At least for now. We're probably going to have to get hit as well. And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about in terms of us using all of the plumbers uh, in this level. And it's crazy because every single one of the levels that I did that required saving one of these guys was just like this. And I didn't know that. I literally went into these levels not knowing that piece of information. So had I attempt to collect the red coins, I probably would have ended up wasting a ton of my time doing so because then I would have ended up realizing oh I can't even do it I need the other plumbers to do it and I hate the fact that Boo's always laughing like that like come on dude nobody wants to hear that maniacal laugh what are you laughing about man like specifically I want to know exactly what's having you cracking up so hard that you're always 24-7 okay so that right path isn't the right way not the right path isn't the right way how ironic but we need to go oh I should have got the Mario cap Oh well, um, that is the fourth, I guess we can uh, go over here, let's see what we have here, oh, okay, never mind, I thought it was right, oh no, I keep making it, make, mixing it up, it's left right, that's what it is, I always for some reason think it's right left, oh well, this works out just fine because now we can play as Mario, the other two coins we don't necessarily need anyone specific to get them, um, the only reason we need Luigi is because there's a star that requires Luigi specifically to get. Um, we need Mario to get this one. I tried multiple times to do it with Luigi's backflip. Luigi just either a he, he when like you're at the corner he high he jumps too high, to hit, he hits the ceiling and then he falls down, or he jumps. He's at a good angle, but his just distance ends up descending at some point, and then he ends up losing his momentum and then just plummets back into the ground. Which never really works, but I'm pretty sure you could do it. I just really didn't try that many times. I tried it a couple times and then I gave up because I'm, I'm like that. Okay, and then, hello, booze. You're trying to kill me? Not today. I'm not gonna let it happen today. And here we go. This is it. Now we just gotta play the waiting game. It's the best game in the world. Just being patient and waiting for these guys to come to you, so then they can take away my Mario cap. This is where the theory or the whole Mario or being able to get rid of your cap. Uh, ability would come in handy because then you wouldn't have to spend like five ten seconds waiting for these guys to come at you for no reason because I'm just letting them get dangerously close he looks very upset too by the way I don't know why he's so angry like that but he, he just he's just a very angry guy and we did it we got ourselves the fifth power star of the episode my friends do I want to save nope not today I mean we'll probably save once I make sure the video is all good but not now for sure Okay, so now I need to get the Luigi cap, which is... Oh, it's over here. Duh, look at the map. It's on the right side. So what we're going to do, if you couldn't already guess it, there is a nice little block right here. Oh, no, 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 don't fall, don't fall. Come on, get the, get the, get the, get the, get the, get the thing. There we go. Okay, and, you know, we have a lot of time. This thing, they're pretty generous with the time on this thing, so I'm not even going to stress it or worry about it. Fling your way over here. And then, that's it. We just gotta go over here this way. They could see me too. Oh yeah, they're ghosts. 
they do the same thing as me. And it makes sense why they gave Luigi that power up, because he's Luigi, he turns into a ghost, okay. I didn't really understand why Luigi had it until just now. See, I'm very slow sometimes at some of the obvious things in life, or in games. But we did it! We completed so far two levels, uh, and I don't know how I got another two stars. Did I do something else? Dude, I completely forgot what I did. I did the ice level. Oh, yeah, I did the... Uh, okay, never mind. Dude, I'm so silly. So right now, we have to obtain three more stars, and then we get the final star, like I said, in the next episode, which will be the final episode of the game, where we'll be taking on Bowser. And then if you guys want to see some more extra content in terms of, like, the little mini games that they have for us in this game, then by all means, I will definitely be more than happy to bring that for you all. Uh, but there's this guy, Little Toad. I didn't even know that he gave you a star either. It just came back to me, like, recently that, hey, if you talk to him, he gives you a star. Because I only thought in the game that there were only two of them that did that. But it makes sense that there's one on pretty much every floor except for the first floor. Just because that Toad is... He's just, you know, that Toad. He doesn't have anything to give. Uh, unless he does, then he's just a very greedy Toad. Why would you do that, Mario? Are you serious, dude? He just jumped into the wall just to jump backwards. What was the point of jumping, bruh? Look at this. That was pretty crazy. Usually there's sometimes like a barrier that's kind of invincible that you don't really see. But, not today. But yeah, there are two stars in this level if you couldn't already guess it. Normally there's only one star, it's just the red coin star. Both of which are actually very, very easy to do. Um, I haven't played this level in a minute, so I'm not going to be, like, super speedrunny professional at this. I don't expect much, you know, from my average uh, skills and whatnot. But look at this. There's the, the nice little glass for the, uh, the star where it appears. Now, the cool thing is the switch star isn't that far off from where that is. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't expect the switch star to be that far off. But you had to come down here anyways. Not, it's not a new thing for the switch star there's actually a red coin here so it just makes perfect sense to do it and then do the switch star to get the red coin and then do the switch star the only issue like i said that i, that I dislike about this is just the whole fact that i have to always readjust the camera it's very tedious to have to do i just wish that it always angled itself right behind mario or you could have like an auto focus kind of thing in the game where you could just get it to automatically focus on uh the back of mario rather than always constantly adjusting it because there's no point see See, I'm always, I'm always having to adjust it myself, like, come on, game. There it is, the Switch Star, that makes 148. Wow, we got eight stars in one episode. I think this is, uh, definitely not the most we've gotten in an episode, but still, I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. So now we have to obtain the remaining red coins, all of which are pretty easy. We could completely skip this entire grapefruit part. Nobody likes that grapefruit guy. He's just proven to be a very hassle, tedious dude. Uh, in this entire game, so we're gonna avoid him at all costs. Hey, it's the Bob Bomb! What you doing here, Bob Bomb? I don't need your assistance for the red coins. I know where they all are, because I'm a big boy now. Uh oh. Okay, there's one up here, so that was that's four. Not bad. Oh, that thing went on for that long? Are you serious? That was the longest, like, star bridge thing I've ever had or seen in my life. Okay, so this is four. There's five over there. Yeah, I got this, man. Five and six and seven. And the eighth one's pretty nice and hidden. But they can't deceive me with it. Okay, I just gotta get there. Oh, oh, that was close. Ooh. I see. Lakitu, this is where I would appreciate the side angle now. Normally, he doesn't when I don't want it. But when I do want it, it's like, nope. You asked for back angle, so I'm gonna give you back angle. Okay, so that was six. Wait, is that? Yeah, that is six. Dude, I'm a little unsure sometimes. I gotta count the coins again to make sure that I'm doing it right. I love how the map changes like each time we go up. Like as we further ascend up, it, you could just to see the map changing uh, everything on it, like the design and everything, which is pretty cool and exciting, I have to say. Okay, so that is uh, the seventh. And then the final one, like I said, is just hidden in a very remote spot, a place where you normally wouldn't think to look. Except if you've played this game, then yeah, you, you definitely know where it's at. But I, I don't think they moved any of the red coins from the original game. I think for the most part, they've all been the same. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, this is it, guys. Bowser is among us. Beyond this war pipe is the final boss. But we can't take him on until we have all the power stars, and you all know that. But the last star, like I said, it's just kind of a tedious star to get. It's just, you have to go through this whole hassle of finding these stupid bunny rabbits. 
So I'm gonna try my best to find them, and then, um, uh, if I can't, if it's giving me trouble, I'm just gonna cut right to the last one, and then, um, show off the star. But like I said, that will all be done in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. And I can't wait to see you guys later today for more Super Mario! Oh man, this is not fun for Mario. I would be terrified if that were me. Like, straight up, I would never, ever, ever want to do that ever in my life. But it seems to me Mario's enjoyed it. But anyways, like I said, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Next time, as you all know, we're taking on the final boss, and we're getting the last and final star in the game. Pretty excited, and you guys should be just as excited about it. Anyways, peace out.